Good evening, it's uh, I don't know about five o'clock here and I thought I would um, show you a wonderful project um, with an AliExpress, AliExpress find. Oh my gosh, look at these cute tags. Um, we have a bear um, tag and we have a cat. Um, well, the dies will cut them just individually, but you can make them into tags and look how adorable that is. Or you can just do the one half and have them just to tuck into journals or just tuck into a little happy mail or something. So you don't have to make them into tags. I'll show you both ways of making them. And there is also a little bunny, which we're going to do as well. But look how it's you look. I just love these, so I think um, a lot of people are going to be getting these in their happy mail and the giveaways. He's just cute, but I love the bear as well. And they are super, super easy to make. Let me just show you. Um, you can buy the dies separately, um, but I've got the dies and the stamp set. Now, it's kind of like a Christmassy sort of thing because they can make these pattern jumpers with the stamps, but because it's obviously not Christmas, I've used... Um, uh, paper um oh my gosh dsp to um make the jumpers instead because it doesn't have to be christmas but this is actually like a christmas um set so you could do red stripes and whatever to make christmas jumpers it's got merry christmas warm winter wishes it's got the little face for the bear the um, cat and the rabbit and it's got happy new year as well a little bow tie little nose um just very, very cute. Now, let me tell you before I start, the dies were £1.83 and the stamp £1.61. But I just think, because you don't have to have them open for Christmas, um, they are just super cute. So, um, let me tell you what you're going to need to make these, because they're really, really adorable. Um, so, I just have some uh, white cardstock. Now, if you want to make the tags, for the bear, I have done three and one eighths by eight and then the cat is two and three quarters by um eight and then what you're going to do is you're going to score at four let me move that out of the way and i'm just going to fold i'm going to be naughty and just fold without scoring and where is my phone folder so let's just go ahead and rather than get my scoreboard out i'm going to just do it by hand like so and then the same with this one now the measurements if you're just doing them um, just one without not doing the tags um, they are uh, two and two and two and three quarters by four and three and one eighths by four. So they will allow you to just cut them out individually. And then what you're going to do, if you're going to make a tag, um, what you have to do with these is the bear. So that's this one. You have to just um, make sure that when you cut it out, you leave a very, very little fraction. Let me see that um, at the top here so that that bit still joins. So you need to just washi tape this on and um, if you can see, there's a little slight gap. Oh, you can't see that. Um, for the ears there. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do that with the cat and the bear. So you, with the cat, it's a little bit harder. So with the cat, you need to just do a little fraction at the top. And then what I do with the cat is just cut out a single cat without you know on the two and three quarters by four cut out another cat and we're going to decorate the one and stick that one on the top you'll see what i mean in a minute so you need to go and cut this out and just leave a little tiny you are going to cut off some of the cat ears that's why we cut out another one to go on top so i'll go and do these and i'll come back so you can see the other thing we're going to do we've took some designer series paper and what we're going to do is we're only going we're going to cut it out, but we only really need up to the head. So what I just do is just put that on the um, cutting pads, uh, cutting plates, and just cut out enough for the jumper. Then you don't waste all your um, designer series paper. So I'm going to go and do that, and I will come straight back. 
Okay, so I'm back. Let me just put these to the side. And so what I've done is I have cut out, um, where are we? This is the cat. And as you can see, it's joined just a little bit. And But I've cut out another cat like that. And I'm going to decorate that one and stick it on so you get the ears. The bear is fine. You don't need to have one to stick on. And I've done a single one to show you what they look like just singly to tuck into things. And we've got the little rabbit to decorate as well. So that is, oh, I need another. I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to cut out another jumper, don't I, for the um, bear. Let me, um, let me have a look through my papers. Um, let's have a look. So I've just got some designer series paper here and I'm just picking something. That's cute. Oh, that, that, that's the one I used on the other one, I think. So let's do a stripey jumper. So I'm just going to go cut out another bear jumper. So I'll be two seconds. Right. I knew that there would be something I would forget. Let's put these to the side. Move that to the side. Get my little mat there. Right. So all we're going to do first, before we do anything else, is I'm going to glue these on top of the... Um, I'm just going to use my Pritt stick and some scrap paper here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to glue um, the jumpers on. Let me just make sure this is the right size. Now, this isn't a tag, uh, do we? I think I'm going to actually just cut this down a little bit. That's his little look, how cute he is. Right, and then we're just going to glue. Oh, my glue stick's gone all funny. It's gone all gobbly. Right, okay, and then we're just going to put this on here like that. So that's the rabbit done. And then we need to do the cat as well. It's all melting, I think. I don't know what's happened. It's gone all weird and gloopy and blech. Oh, flipping egg. I don't know. Right, I'm so sorry, everyone. Okay, let's just pop this down on there, like so. See, the glue's getting everywhere. I need to find a new glue stick, I think because this one's having a meltdown, literally. Right. Let me grab another glue stick. I have more. I don't know what these ones are like. I've had them for a while, and um, I don't know if you saw the other video um, not too long ago. Some of my glue sticks had actually dried out um, because I'd had them so long. And I bought them in bulk, thinking, oh, I'm going to get use them. And um, I didn't. So they started to to not work. But some do, and some, some are good, and some aren't. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, look, that's way too big. I should have checked. Check before you do it that your jumper's not too high because you don't want it strangling them do you that's it i'm not with it today look i've screwed it all up <clears throat> it's because i really wanted to get this video done um oh, i don't know what's happened here i've um did i put it on the wrong way oh my Gosh, what have I done? <clears throat> right, it's not a biggie. All we're going to do is just go round and trim it up. I don't know what I did. It takes two seconds to do. Anyway, just go round and chop it around the edge like that. And then this is the one that's just going to be um, like a single um, layer. And then with this one, we're just going to... 
Here's my monkey one. <clears throat> These glue sticks are quite good actually. I think I've got them in Asda. They weren't very expensive either. Right, okay, so let's get that out of the way. I'm just going to put this on here. If I got it around the right way. We can always trim it up if we've done it way too long. That's better. So I have actually done that way too long. And we're just going to trim that up because... There you go. Like that. Right, that's the layer. That's that one. That one, that one, and that one. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to do the faces for them. So I've got my little... Block. I've got my um, archival black and let's have a look what we've got here so let's do let's do the cat face first so I'm going to put the I hope I'm in shot here because I'm not sure of my angle of my camera um, if I'm actually in shot I love these little Tags are so cute. So we're just going to put a little face on, like so. Look at that. It's so cute. Um, and then also we've got a little um, bit here for the cheeks. So let me just put that on there. And I've got a little pigment ink pad. So I'm just going to put some ink on that. And just do some little cheeks like that. Oh, look how cute that busket is. Right, and then what we're going to do, we're going to do the bear face. So, um, where is the bear? Where is the bear? Are we rhyming? We are rhyming. Where's my, where's my grammar today? Right. So, so I'm just going to put that <coughs> in the middle. Charlie's looking at me, ready to pounce in a minute, I'm sure. <laughs> and then we're going to do the same with his cheeks. Uh-oh. Charles, give me a minute. I can see him. I can see him. He's pouncing. I know. I heard you get ready wait till the ink pads out the way and one there oh look I did his cheeks all weird look lopsided that's your fault Charles and then we're gonna do might as well uh, what are we doing Like that, and then I'll try and get his cheeks right on this one. It's one, and ooh, hang on, I've done this all lopsided. Oh, Lily, <laughs> and then the rabbit, rabbit. Why is it when you say rabbit, I have to go rabbit? Rabbit. Right. Um, the rabbit face is this one here. So we're going to just... How is that on the rabbit? Uh, oh, like... Oh, how do I do it? Is that right? Let me just, uh, they, I think that's it. Oh, that will do. Near as, near as, <laughs> near as I can. And then we're just going to do a little cheeks. Like that. Right, I can put the ink pad away. It's safe, Charles. Oh. <clears throat> right, okay, put this away. And then that there. Now... All that's left to do now is to actually put these together 
which is very super easy and won't take long once I've cleared my desk up that is right okay so what's left to do now so I'm going to glue this onto here oh no I need to do my ribbon so what did I do with that one I used uh, I know I can hear you right okay so I've got this lovely sparkly ribbon and all I'm going to do with this is just tie this around Oh, I don't think I've left enough, have I? Oh my gosh. Right. That should be enough. More than enough this time. I know, honey. I can use that other bit for the um, tag bit anyway. And then what I'm going to do is just tie a... I can hear you doing that behind me. Can you hear him scratching at my... What are you scratching at? You little monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Charles, not while I'm doing a bow. Come on. Now your tail's in my face. Oh, Charlie, Um, <clears throat> he wants to say hello to a very special little boy called Thomas, who apparently watches my videos to see Charles. So, um, Charles wants to say hello, Thomas, and a big hello, 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 from me. That was a bit... Ignore me, Charles. I'm having a moment. Right. Oh, I mean, Thomas. Oh, my gosh. See what he does to me. Sorry, Thomas. I was saying hello to you. And thank you for watching my videos. And Charles wants to say hello to Right. So we've done that. And that's with the cat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get my... Um, let's use my... Charles. Seriously, you're going to knock everything off. <clears throat> oh no oh my goodness me seriously now look what you've done that's probably going to make no 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 enough now wrecking the place oh my gosh stop it he's actually headbutting everything and knocking it all off you are a naughty boy he's doing that for Thomas I think he's showing off Right, you are going to have to go now. Go. Dear goodness me. Oh my gosh, I'm all unnecessary now. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, we were sticking this on that. Oh my goodness me. I hope you're all laughing at home. Because you should see the mess he has just made behind me. <clears throat> oh. Okay, right. I'm just putting some fabric tack on here. I'm going to put some under there as well. That was him showing off. I am sure about it. Has to have the limelight. He really does. He only came up to show off, I'm sure. Right, okay, so we're going to stick that down like that. That one's ready to have the ribbon put on. And then... I'm going to take this ribbon here. Oh my gosh, my desk is a mess. And then we're going to put this around here and do a cute bow. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I'm such a divvy. I've missed something out, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe I've missed a step. Wait a minute, I'll show you. It's easily resolved. So let's just put this bow on here and I'll show you um, what I haven't done. <clears throat> it's my fault because I was trying to... Uh, I didn't put any videos up yesterday and um, I was quite busy with a few things and I thought, oh my gosh, I haven't put a video up. I must get one on. And um, so I was kind of rushing and I missed a step. Right. Oh, gosh. That has got to be the worst bow ever. Might be able to save it. There you go. There you go, I saved it. I saved it. Okay. Mm, right. 
<clears throat> excuse me, the step that I missed out, which is, you don't have to do this. Um, I've got some distressing and my distress tool. And what I just do is just put a little bit around the edges of, oh, he's got like a massive hair now. That actually come out quite funny. Actually looks like his hair. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like that. And the cat I used, um, that was vintage photo on um, the bear. But on the cat, I'm going to use um, old paper. Because it's not quite as, as dark. But it just gives... <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, I'm losing my voice as well. Just gives the cat a little bit of colour look. There you go. So I'm not going to do the rabbit because the rabbit should be white, I think. Right, so that's one done. That's two. We need a little skinny um, bow around him. A little skinny, skinny ribbon. Where's my skinny ribbon? Um, what do I have that's skinny? <clears throat> I'll find something. Okay, I have found some skin. Okay, my camera cut out again. So, right, we're just going to tie this round here. Um, I don't know what I was doing. I was like, my camera just keeps doing that. And I think um, it only does so many minutes. So maybe I reached however long that was. Excuse me if you can hear Charmin in the background yakking on the phone. Um, as long as he doesn't swear or anything, then we're okay. Right, okay. So, we're just going to put that around there, like that. Right, okay, so that's like that, and that's like that. And all we need to do now is just, um, oh, I didn't do it. Oh, my God, it stopped again. Oh, my goodness me. Do you know what? This is going to be one of those videos where you're like, really, Chanel? Right, okay, and we do have another one here to do it as well, so I'm just going to... Let's find something nice and what about maybe something silvery? Maybe, I don't know. Great way to use up your ribbons because, you know, I do have oh, that too much, do you think? I think that might actually be, um, is it too much? Never too much to have a bit of sparkle, is it? This is quite hard to tie. Right, that'll do. We'll just, we could get the idea anyway, don't you? But what's good about this is that, like I said, you can just tuck these into little pockets. I have really probably made this look more difficult than it is, as I normally do, because um, just, there you go. And look, he will just then be great for a little message, for a little tuck spot. How cool is that? Right, all we need to do now, this is one of those videos that's like going to be a mess. Um, what was I going to do? Right, um, then all you need to do then, and actually I'll use this thin ribbon because it's much, much better to use this than thick. And then all you need to do is just tie a bit of ribbon around here and what I did I just got the ends together like this and tied a knot and then I've got my little um, Tim Holtz tiny attacher which is like a little staple stapler and I just staple it inside. I'll show you in a minute if I can actually do this knot. Chop those ends off. And then I'm going to just, what I did was just put that inside there and <clears throat> took my 
Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher because they're little ditty staples and just stapled that in like that and then you've got a little tag and then you can do that with the others um, this one like I said is just a tuck spot one so there you have these gorgeous little they're, they're lovely little critters look at them how cute are they I'm sorry for the bumbling video but look at these cute 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 um, critters aren't they just adorable I love them well I hope you have enjoyed this video and Charles has made such a big mess I need to go and sort that out now look at my desk don't look at my desk it's a mess um but these are from <clears throat> AliExpress super 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 cute um oh I didn't do the ears look this one I actually colored the ears in but they look good either way and then you could put some little brown ears on those but you get the idea you can have fun decorating them you know um if you do make some just send me some photos i'd love to see your projects um and i shall put um the description the link in the description below where you can get these gorgeous um this gorgeous die set and stamps there you go there's those are the dies and i've lost the stamps because i think they're on the floor. Charles has thrown them. So, anywho, anywho, I love you guys because you put up with me and you put up with Charles. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. A uh, hi again to Thomas and sorry again, Thomas, for Charlie's behaviour because he's such a naughty little monkey. Right, <clears throat> I am going. I love you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.